It is becoming a hot item for kids and adults. Drones can be a whole lot of fun, but there's more to this flying technology than just that. WLWT News Science Mike Dardis takes us to one place that's taking flying drones to new heights. Something special is taking flight at Sinclair Community College in Dayton, and lucky students like Casey Durth are along for the ride. I always liked robotics and I always liked planes, so uh, UAS kind of combined those together, and uh, so I figured that would be a good field for me to go into. UAS, unmanned aerial systems, like drones. We're seeing more and more of them in the sky these days, and Sinclair sees them as a big part of our future. We've had students come from New York and across the country to be enrolled in our unmanned aerial systems program because it's one of the, I believe it's the only two-year degree that you can get today across the country in UAS. When it comes to UAS, Sinclair is the Harvard of Ohio. With a 28,000 square foot facility already in place for general aviation, now $5 million in recent upgrades. They have drone simulators, a wind tunnel, a leading edge curriculum, even a 3D printer to make drone parts. And when you look at sensors and the importance of some of the technologies, you need a safe environment, a controlled environment by which you know you can fly. And so we have a lot of resources here. The Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems predicts an economic impact of more than two billion dollars in Ohio over the next ten years in this field and 2,700 jobs created statewide. Sinclair is banking on first responders using drones to assess situations in difficult to get to places. The school also believes that media outlets will need drones to better cover stories and major companies will hire out UAS operators to protect their bottom lines. You'll be flying over fields for uh, crop damage analysis like in insurance companies that insure crops. They'll be using them to Look at damage of crops from like floods and bugs. And if information is power, Sinclair believes UAS gives people a new way to flex their muscles. Why I want to use a UAS or a drone is it gives me access to data and to information that I didn't have before. Deb Norris believes the sky is the limit for her students as their dreams of a career in unmanned aerial systems takes off at Sinclair. And that was Mike Dardis reporting. I promise he will be back on Monday night. The center opened last month, by the way, on a special day in the world of flying, the 112th anniversary of the Wright brothers' first flight.